Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, brother Farhan. Qiyamul Layl. Now this is something that many of us focus on specifically during Ramadan. And I understand that for many of us, it can be challenging outside of the month. So what can we do to try and be consistent or at least add it to our weekly regimen? I think one of the best ways of doing this is firstly looking at ourselves and looking at our sleep cycle. We need to make sure that we're sleeping enough. You know, we hear that an individual needs anywhere between four to eight hours of sleep, but this is just the sleep aspect of it. Am I living a healthy lifestyle? Am I active, right? If I'm not tired, I'm not going to sleep. And then I have to wait until I actually fall asleep and that's where my sleep counter will start. So if I'm not living an active lifestyle, if I'm not living a healthy lifestyle, I'm not gonna be able to fall asleep at the time I should be falling asleep. And we know from the life of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, from the life of the companions, their lives were not easy, right? Regardless of what we say and what else was going on, they did not have easy lives. They had to work for everything that they had. For us, we have a refrigerator, we have running water, right? Even the toilets are within our homes now. We don't have the same hurdles that they did. And because we don't, and these are all blessings, no doubt, we just don't have the same level of activity in our lives. So try to up the activity level, keep ourselves busy. This is something that is really important. And why do we keep ourselves busy? There's a few reasons, you know, it's good. staying mentally busy is very good. It lessens the opportunity for us to sin and it keeps us engaged with a number of positive things. So if we know that we can sleep on time and wake up with a belief, right? So before I go to sleep, how many of us make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wake me up at Qiyam time. And when does Qiyam time end? It ends at Fajr. If I wake up 15 minutes before Fajr, I have caught the Qiyam time. And is it necessary that I actually get up and pray? No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He descends the last third, asking His slaves. The true expectation and the true reason for the Qiyam of that time is to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember, the idea is to be alone with Allah. The idea is to engage with Allah. The idea is to ask Allah. And while there is enjoyment in the prayer, no doubt, and while there, it is a way to draw near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and while it is one of the most beloved ways to draw near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, remember, the ultimate goal is to engage with Allah. The ultimate goal is to engage with our Lord. So if I want to initially start out, just making dua at that time. I get up five, 10 minutes before Fajr, I use that time to make active dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once the adhan comes in, I can make wudu, make my two rakah, you know, and start preparing and start getting ready for my day. Or if Fajr is really early, then make sure that I have my things organized and leave enough time where I can rest again after the salah. There are a number of opportunities in front of us. And this Qiyam is a daily opportunity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us. Like many things, like many opportunities, all Allah expects from us is to seize them. So I hope and I pray and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those individuals who utilize that time in the best way for us in order to draw near to Him. Ameen.